Hello everybody, Steve Tree again with another Modern Inscription Act 1 run. And today I'm gonna be using the Doom Eternal Cards mod. So we're gonna have some Doom cards here. Although I haven't played the game, so I have no idea what we're gonna find. So <laughs> what if didn't play Doom? Whatever. So the other mods I also installed with this is the multiple sigils renderer fix. I think that will allow cards to have a bunch of sigils on it. And uh, the other one, by the way, we have a good start today. And the other mod I also added is a mod that copy made, which um, is like, let me show it real quick here. I have to go through this as fast as possible. Here, uh, it shows you some wins you did, like this is the Mole Man build, and this is the Mortal Crew build, and this is the Skink of Doom, you remember that? And um, as far as I know, after you win a fight, you can choose the card that was your main carry or something like that. But uh, we will see how exactly this uh, mod works. Uh, obviously, retroactively, I cannot actually modify these to make them the, the cards that were actually the MVP. But let, let's see how this works today. And uh, maybe we can, uh, you know, place the MVP on there. Although it might bug out with other mods. I don't know. Maybe I have to retain my mods between runs. We're gonna see how much it bugs out <laughs> more than actually how exactly it works. Let's see. Her belts. <laughs> this, uh, the graphics are so high that... Uh, <laughs> by the way, insane graphics. First thing I see. And the graphics are so high that the cards were lagging the moment they appeared, if you saw it, it was like a slideshow. So, first of all, I see there are energy cards. This is like energy cost, I guess. Custom, I also read it in the patch. And I really like the fact that they have little symbols here. I'm first, first time taking everything in and then we're gonna go through the cards. So I really like it when mods have the sigil that I have suggested to have on every single mod. Very nice. So, let's see. Hell Knight, seven, seven, one. Seven, seven bones and one energy, I guess? For a 3-3? By the way, this mod, normally, you have to start with the starting deck, which I don't have. So, I start fearing that uh, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe it is unplayable. There is a good chance it's unplayable. Because, um, yeah, there is a good chance it's unplayable. We're gonna see. Maybe I have to rerun this. Maybe the mod comes in and is like, Yo, Sift, yeah, you should have not to do a draft mod with this. Anyway, right now, nothing is playable. Marcus? Brittle? After attacking the carbon, this little perishes? But this does not attack, right? That's the concept. It just blocks in a lane. Revenant, triple hit and also targets. I like it. This is like 3 damage, although 8 bones. Is this crazy? Turret? I mean, 3 cost 3-3 three, three, underwater and targets. This is at least playable. Like, this is straight up better than this, right? Goes underwater, has 1 health. Does not go underwater, has 3 health. And same, like, this costs more. So this is already better. I think I want to go with a cheap cost unit. This is also a cheap cost unit. Flyer that targets. What's the point of flyer that targets? I guess so that you avoid hitting fly blockers? I don't know. I think this is a given. And this also, like these two I like. And then... 7 cost 3-3, three, three, uh, I guess. 7 cost 4-3? I, I don't know what this red is. What this red thing is. This seems to be like straight up, but no, no. Let, let's try this. What is this? this is a hive. Oh, this I like this. Pain elemental eight cost one eight that gives you bees. I like this. And I would say this for a high cost unit. And I already have a bunch of high cost units. I need some low cost units like the gargoyle. The gargoyle is a flyer. We hate flyers here. And maybe another one of those snipers. Let's try one of those snipers. I mean, if I'm going to play sni uh, flyer, might as well play a sniper. Oh, we got some zombies here. Okay, these are playable. Like, one blood, zero one. Ooh, look at this. That's, that is why... You, you see, this mod actually has all those zombie effects over here, so that you know what it does. But this mod actually places all of them at the bottom. I mean, you get the patch here. I don't know why, but these are these are at the bottom. And I can only get one of those. I'm definitely gonna pick one of the zombies. So it's brittle. It gives you three blood, three, four bones... Gift bear, when this card bearing the sigil perishes, random card screen in your hand. Very nice. Joins the match for free. This is insane. Gives you a bone each turn. Oh, this is like wrong. This gives you two bones each turn. Still brittle. Four bones when it dies. Okay, one of these two is going to join. I guess the left is better. Yeah, I guess the left is better. Oh, this also gives you an item though. And it's free. This is a free thing that gives you two bones and then dies and gives you another four bones. So this gives you instantly six bones. This is what I understand, that this gives you instantly six bones. Well, this gives you four bones, like five, either four bones and a good sacrifice outlet. Do I even need good sacrifice? Is this three number, how many sacrifice I have to do? I don't think so. That's blood. Like, this is blood. Uh, 
Yeah, I guess we're gonna pick this then. The thing that gives you an item, and that's the main concern. So I get an item, I get two bones out of it, and another four bones. I get six bones and an item. I like it. I might be wrong about this though. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Mm, I don't need an item. Let's go with the totem. Maybe we can create a good totem, and that will carry us. Uh, we did not create a good totem, but let's uh, let's have spiky easy worlds. I'm gonna assume that this mod has a unique side deck or something. Okay, we got the drone here for energy. Okay, we got our side deck. It's not unique. First thing we I must see. Okay, so we got this thing. Man, if I don't draw this thing, it's literally unplayable, right? Yeah, if I don't draw this thing, it's literally unplayable. I think I have to restart this run and go with the custom starting thing this mod goes with. I don't know how to explain it better. Wolf Cub. It's a flyer. 1-1. One, one. Well, uh, this is a fly blocker, and uh, I actually want it to die. Do I want this to die? This has brittle. It will die on its own. If I want it or not, it does not matter. So, let's play this in the, on the side. Let's also draw another scroll. Maybe I can get some... Well, let's get the knife. Let's get the knife out of here. I really need the knife. Let's get anything other than the knife. Let's start playing with items. Imagine if this whole run is going to go like that. What did we get? What is this? Liars. Well, I can win on the spot. A pass. Give us two bones. It actually survived. Okay, I just suicided it for no reason. Do I even have enough bones now? I don't even have enough bones right now. And I can't even play anything else. This needs energy. Okay, at least we know that this is energy. Uh, we have almost no chance of winning. Let's use the flash right now. Let's destroy our own health. And uh, maybe we can get one or two more zombies. I mean, if I get one or two more zombies, we will be good to go. Here, let's get the, the thing that shouldn't actually do anything. I want this. No, no, Lashy. I didn't want it. I lied. Uh, let's maybe go into the sacrifice pit. Transfer some uh, buffs here around. Maybe the triple strike, whatever insane card over to this thing. Then it will be underwater triple strike. I could even give it to this thing. It's a 1-8. I think the best choice would be to transfer the triple strike over here. I know that it has another sigil, but I mean, the triple strike is very important. And I think transferring this triple strike over here is good. This is a three energy unit, though. Ah, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Um, yeah, I mean, let's go this path. I'm gonna go with a one blood cast. Nope, we're gonna reroll this. There should be... Nah, there isn't a one cost. Let's hope there is a two cost. This is going to be a gek. Ah, got a gek. That's not really good. Because we need a bone run. Man, I, I'm really I'm really starting to think that I should not have started with the draft mod. But whatever, whatever. We're gonna play the janky way. Uh, if this isn't classic shift, shift fashion... Uh, from a stupid beginning to a stupid run <laughs> that becomes the gek with multi-strike attack and whatnot. <laughs> um, okay. Can't really play anything here. I guess we play the spikes here and pass. A zombie's gonna come in. Seems like this game, this uh, this mode, mode, mod. Now oh, we got the zombie. So it seems like this mod is made with uh, keeping in mind. Uh, should I play the boulder? I need to play the boulder. No. Let's get the bones. Tick, tick. We're about to lose. We draw the gek. We go one, two, three. Uh, sorry, pass. One, two, three. We get the bones out of it. Okay, I'm obviously gonna cheese the the, the gek. Okay, <laughs> I'm obviously gonna cheese the gek. But uh, I'm gonna try to to run a normal run, right? To it. Let's play it here. I like how it's called turret. For no reason. It's not no reason, Sift. It is actually a turret. I should have attacked over there. Okay, and we won. The zombie seems broken, though, to be honest. Mm, you know what? Yeah, let's take it. Like, who cares? The zombie seems broken, so I really hope we find, like, more zombies. Kako Demon. The notorious kick demon, this barely sentient glutton, advances rec recklessly towards any source of food. Carcass, a fetid carcass, a corpse from a tier of dark mach machinery, abominable as it's annoying. 
Nash's shield soldier. It hides behind the glowing shield and demolishes any who can near it. Go, bro, 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 this, this, uh, this, this, uh, this is wrong. <laughs> this is a turret. I would say this is free. This is a free 3 2. I love this. This is a free 3 2, man. Are you insane? Yeah, let's play the free 3 2. Mod, mod, mod creator, yo, some cards, insane. But on the other hand, I mean, I didn't start the run normally, so I have no idea what's even happening. Let's go with flaming the Gek. Okay, I think one flame is enough. Said if never. You see? That's how we roll here. If we cheat, then we either cheat as much as possible. I mean, not cheat. If we cheese, then we either cheese as much as possible, or we just YOLO it. <laughs> Or, or we don't cheese at all, you know? So I tried to cheese there even more. Mm, let's try to draw the zombie as if I have any control over it. Let's go here. I want to create some bones. Oh, I forgot to use an item. No. No. Everything's going sideways. Okay. We got the turret. Let's play it here, I guess. Snipe it once. Underwater. Okay, let's go, I guess here, pass, snipe this. Now you might say, yo Sith, why didn't you attack the wolf first? Because the wolf is now also going to get struck on its own. Scoop, exactly. I could play the squirrel here and then start attacking, he would have died anyway. Uh, we continue the YOLO path. I'm going to try to flame again. <laughs> I also want to have a choice of what I pick up. Imp, pick us one. Uh, the simple imp, standard foot soldier on a damned un unremarkable. Okay. Kaminsky and Prowler. Tricky Prowler, profane, wizardy, grants the demon, otherworldly, elusive, elusivity. Moves around and also goes underwater like... I love these sigils. As everybody knows, the best sigils in the game, man. You can move around and... Okay, trash. Imp, 3 cost 1-1 one, one with spikes. Could have been a 1-2, man. I mean, isn't this more expensive than playing a... Um, doesn't matter, let's go. We got the whatever card. A mecha zombie, yes. I, I want zombies, I want zombies. The Dara mecha zombie. It takes a warped mind to con conceive of such defilement. The Dead Knight. The Relentless Dread Knight. Its metal organs pump chemicals into its blood. That includes an all-encompassing rage. Each kill avoids this creature only a brief reprieve. Okay, we're gonna go with a zombie. This has a snipe. What? Why does this thing have snipe? Snipes. Gives you a bone. When it dies, gives you... I, I guess if you try to transfer it... I guess. I guess if you try to transfer it. I really like the fact that this uh, this thing with the sigils on the bottom actually works, but I'm not sure if it works with transferring sigils. Actually, did I... Flame? I guess we flame this. Twice! I tell you. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> A 3-1 is, is decent. A 3-1 is decent. Wait a minute, how was I able to play it so fast last turn? I thought it cost a 3 energy. Did I have 3 energy? Did I play it on the third round when I even realized? I, I like the fact that I have screwed up completely the beginning. I should have had like some zombies and some something in the deck that definitely makes this thing work. I would assume, right? I, I mean, I, I saw the console and the console said that it added something to my deck, but it didn't actually happen, so... Uh, no idea. But still, I think we, we can do this, like, easily. We can easily do this. Let's go Greater Smoke into Squirrel, I would say. Something like this. Come on, Coyote. Join us. Oh no, Coyote. Cacodemon. Cacodemon is here. Okay, I'm not gonna play the zombie yet. I'm gonna play it to... Mm, should I play it? Maybe I should play the zombie earlier than later. Get some bones out of it. I mean, right now we're about to win anyway. So, is there any reason to play the zombie? I don't think so. I'm gonna play the turret next turn. I'm gonna sniperoni, pepperoni, anyway win next turn. Why did I play? Why did I play the scroll on the right? I just gave Leshy another gold, goal to hit here, which uh, you 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 might say that it will buy us time, but it does not buy us time. I could have just played a, a scroll over there. Why am I drawing scrolls, man? Mistakes are happening. Pass. Uh, you know what? Snipe this. Let's get some cards out of here. Maybe we can get a zombo. Da -da 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 -da. We actually did get a cultist zombie, I think. Get him. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's draw a real card this time. Let's not make the same mistake a thousand times. Rackentron. Cultist zombie. It needs a sacrifice, but gives you a million things. Is this a triple sacrifice? Why? I don't understand what's the point of a triple sacrifice. Although, it, uh, when the card business user perishes, the random cards... Yeah, okay. Okay, got it, got it. So, I would say... 
We play an item, which would be the boulder. Play it over... Sh Let's play it here. Who cares? Let's play the zombie. Let's play this zombie. Let's play this zombie. Because I want to get the item for sure. Let's snipe three damage. I'm not gonna win anyway. Nice. The zombie will die. Give us a bunch of bones. Mecha zombie. I had this in the deck. I don't, oh, it has two attack. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It has like a huge two over here. Man, this is insane. Two energy cost, two one. Snipes. Might as well pass. Three, another two. And then it dies and gives you four bones. Wow, love it. Man, the zombies seem more powerful than the, the beasts. Like, if, if the concept of this is that you play zombies that most of the time die and give you a bunch of bones... And then you... I guess that's the concept, right? And then you play the big things. Archwile. Eight cost two. The tragic Archwile. This demon believes itself benevolent, sharing the gift of Hellfire to any and all. One six draws you... At, uh, one six and draw whatever you want. I mean, you can draw... Theoretically, you can draw a zombie with this, but... Armored Baron. Regenerate armor. It will be difficult to defeat this monster. Regenerative armor. I don't see any regenerative armor. It's a 10 cost, 10 bones, 5 energy, 6, 10 blocks flyers. And now some people say, it dies from an adder. <laughs> uh, the noble baron of hell, a demon of great size, strength and cruelty. It revels in imposing a full lesser creatures. 10, 10 bones, 3 uh, energy, 6, 6. I mean, you play, you pay 2 more energy to get 4 more life out of it. Is this the same thing? Yeah, it's like Baron of Hell, Armored Baron. Yeah, it's it's the Armored Baron, and this is the Baron. So, it is the same thing, but... Does this have, like, a secret sigils that, that I cannot see right now? Or what exactly is happening? I guess from these cards, I would pick the Archwile. Because it searches a card in your deck, too, and it's also cheaper to play. So, I'm gonna go with this. I I'm pretty sure these are also good cards, but... I will just go with the safe option of being able to draw my super cards. Walkity walkity. 17 minutes. Why is this run so big already? I, I was assuming that I was going a bit faster. Should I try to go for sacrifice? But I want to avoid this. So let's try to go here and then here. Throw something out of the deck maybe. Monkeybus. The repugnant Mungibus, a grotesque obese monstrosity. Cardiac arrest starve. Staved off only by preserve modification. Shield soldier. Nashua's shield soldier, it hides behind a glowing shield and demolishes any who get near it. This, this is the correct <laughs> explanation for you. By the way, oh, this is good. One cost, three energy is a bit steep, but it uh, tries to kill whatever comes in, and if it gets hit, it tries to still kill it. Kaminsky. Hmm. I mean, it's a 2-4 that attacks two sides, but I think I want to go with this. Let's go with this. Let's have a baseline useful unit. And uh, I can even transfer those, those uh, sigils onto something else. And then maybe I get an even better unit. Uh, let's... Throw out... I mean, 8 bones are really easily achievable with this. I'm thinking about throwing out the Arachnotron. Yeah, let's, let's like throw out the Arachnotron. It's just a 1-3 with Snipe. I can definitely play something better with 8 or 9 bones. I mean, I, I, I very easily create like 2 bones each round or 1 bone each round. And then if I get a zombie... I mean, with the zombies, obviously. And then when the zombie dies, I get a million bones out of it anyway. So, theoretically, those 8 costs should be playable. I, I can actually play the Shield Soldier, but I don't have enough energy. No. Um, I guess we go with the scroll over here. I mean, I can play the scroll over there next turn too, so... Um, we, we can also see what's coming in because exactly like adders might come in that I can actually kill with a squirrel. Uh, this needs three energy, so I would say we just do this and then we do this into this. So we just kill two Lashy units and we will take one damage, but who cares? A rattler's coming in, another unit that I can easily kill with just squirrels. I'm blocking everything in with these spikes. Spikes didn't actually work for our favor. Yeah, he will attack us and we'll get hit. Yep. I will continue my sure play instead of making anything dangerous here happen. We are just gonna take the free win. Now Leshy should not be able to do anything actually. Yes, I think you got me this time. Give me the branch. Let's go on. Lights out. Off we go. By the way, for anybody that doesn't know how you can activate energy, you should go in the mod game and the configuration file and there is like the configuration file of the API and there is like a thing that says uh, energy drone 
active. The dexterous whiplash. It represents a certain feminine quality about it that is especially disturbing to me. What are you talking about? Where do you see the feminine thing? Leshy, are you okay? Uh, maybe, maybe Leshy might be onto something here. Anyway, uh, Mind Cubus is good, but we're gonna go for reset. Maybe we can get a zombie out of this. Arachnotron again. No, I didn't even read it. That's how no it went. I'm sorry, you can read it if you go back. And Earth Zombie, we're gonna pick this up. The Mindless Zombie, suitable only for acquiring bones. You think? I, I, you don't say, man. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I, I'm gonna just go ahead and I think the starting deck was like two zombies and an imp, something like that. So, can I transfer the sigils onto an... Oh, okay, okay. I guess the idea is, by the way, very smart. I would also suggest exactly the same thing, that all the zombies have brittle on it, just, just so that you cannot really transfer them, right? Because these sigils are insane. These four sigils... Give two bones, fly blocker, and give another four bones. Insane. But with the brittle sigil, not so easy, though. Not so easy to play it now, isn't it? I could transfer the earth zombie onto the... Actually, this is a one cost, and this is also a two cost. I should not waste the zombies. Let's transfer, like, good sigils. Like, let's transfer the cockademon, which is a free unit to play, onto the archfail. Well, the cockademon is really good, because it's a three attack unit. That's why it's good. Uh, I could transfer these sigils onto this thing. Or the opposite. Yeah, actually the opposite. Like, I can transfer these sigils onto this thing. Making it a 1 cost and also still keeping it at 8. And also, not only will it have blocker and fly, uh, fly blocker and gives you bees, but it also buffs the bees if you play them next to it. And it also draws your card of your choice. I think that's what I should do. On the other hand, I can transfer the Archville onto the soldier, which is uh, the most smart thing I can actually do. <laughs> because the soldier is supposed to, you know, stay alive and stuff. Yeah, yeah, let's do, let's do the smart thing. And transfer it onto something that's easily playable. I could also transfer this onto the turret. Which I, if I play it in the middle. Uh, I think I should just transfer it on the, the soldier. And then have the soldier somewhere in the middle give them buffs. Or to the earth zombie. Have the earth zombie survive for a bunch of turns. And uh, give buffs. I think earth zombie is the most smart play. But Sift, it's a legendary that you're throwing away. I think Earth Zombie is the play, though. Like, even, even if this dies and you lose the buffs, you don't care. You have already drawn what you need. And then if this dies, you have theoretically six bones. So you can play the turret or even the Cockademon or whatever. I think that's the play. Uh, you should always transfer Magpie into something that's very easily playable. That's my main concern. Nothing else is actually what I care about. And as I see, after transferring, the sigils do not get stuck there at the bottom. So, if this mod does that, then I'm super happy. I, I will never stop using it. Okay, ever. If if the mod that makes the, the sigils appear here at the bottom... Because you have to realize the following. That this 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 mod, like the, the, the Doom mod, actually d displays the sigils on on the card itself right because it has so many sigils that they did not think or, or this mod did not exist let's say that this mod did not exist so they just drew it on the card art itself right so this mod here that actually lets you show how many sigils you want would be really awesome if it also could have the patches here like if this mod can have the patches here i'm never gonna stop using it anyway let's uh let's stop lollygagging let's go here let's draw the other Earth Zombie. <laughs> let's draw... Let's draw the turret. I mean, it's our best card anyway. And then what's coming in? We don't care. Let's play the squirrel here, which has one attack. Too. This thing comes in. Boop, spiked. Boop. The Kaka Demon is here. Uh, we wait for our turret play. Oh, no. No, my Earth Zombie. No, you're gonna pay for this. You're gonna pay for this. Um, do I have enough bones? How many bones do I have? I have 12. So I do have enough, but I don't have enough energy. So let's do this. Theoretically, with just this move, you're dead. With this move, you're dead. Pass. Snipe this. Let's go. We win. I should not have sniped that. I should have just done more damage. Does it matter? I don't think so. Okay, one cost means might mean a zombie. Because if I do this, it's a guaranteed geck. 
it's a zombie cult is zombie i love it. it's a good one it's a good one i mean it's not insane but it, it it gives you four bones and it also gives you a card in your hand so it's it's something let's go flames okay i don't understand why it has three sacrifice though maybe there are cards that cost three blood with the sacrifice oh 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 i'm 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 gonna just spitball here Completely random. I have no idea what I'm about to say, but I think that this thing is a Bone Lord Sacrifice. You give this thing to the Bone Lord because it's a cultist and it has Worthy Sacrifice. I know for a fact that the Sigil itself is not what gives you the 8 Bone buff, but I'm going to assume that they added this here just so that you realize that. Okay, that's my opinion. And uh, if that's not the thing, then I will instantly flip my opinion and be mad about it. So prepare for the point where I'm going to say, oh, that's stupid. <laughs> Let's go with the sealed soldier here, I think. I could go for the turret, make it a 4-1. But I think a 3-1 is already good enough. So I want to start having like a side piece. I think as a 1-3 it's decent, but I'm going to YOLO it. It's okay. It's out of the deck. Whenever something's out of the deck, that means that I can actually have a better deck. Smaller decks, better decks, always. Although we obviously lost a useful unit that I liked. But it is what it is. I'm not gonna cry about it. I'm, I'm not gonna... <laughs> Let's... Uh, we got the Earthen Zombie. Nice. Uh, I see a skunk here, which means I'm literally gonna plop this in the middle of the skunk there. Very nice, very good. Uh, let's play with the Demogorgon. And uh, what is this? It's a Rattler. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is gonna go so sideways for you, Leshy. Everything's not gonna work out the way you want it. Whoop. What is this? Very good. Very good play on Leshy's part. Mm, let's continue drawing squirrels. And let's actually win. Four damage, five damage. And we get a coin out of it. I'm happy. I'm happy. I mean, I don't think the bad start actually affected anything in the... In the, in the the and them and them i don't know my, my mind's blank right now <laughs> while doing this run i don't think the bad start actually affected us the autonomous marker drone my micro micro drone okay i'm not playing doom so i don't know what this is this creature is an extension of the khan marker's will and it has no true mind of its own okay it's like a four ball the, the, I, I'm not gonna pick this up. Four cost, one three gives you four bones. I mean, you can just transfer the sigil onto something. That's that's the point of that. Carcass, you know, because now we actually have these earth zombies, and we actually have for a fact seen that brittle does not happen if you don't attack. Because this same thing here says after attacking a card bearing the sigil perishes, but that does not mean that it was guaranteed that it worked like that, right? Sometimes wording is whatever. Uh, and also, I never ever had an, a card that has zero damage and brittle so now i know so because i know that now we know for a fact that this card here actually is just a lane block we play this and the lane is blocked forever pretty much until you sacrifice for something else and um wait a minute oh i want this i want this thing if if i transfer if i transfer repulsive onto for example another zombie i can transfer repulsive onto another zombie like this one the cultists and then and then the cultist blocks everything. Obviously, I would like it on an earth zombie because the earth zombies always give you like two bones. And because the earth zombies also have mighty leap, they would also block in flyers. But both my earth zombies have that, um, yeah, have already not the ability of getting another sigil. And this also has fly blocker. Wait a minute. I Yeah, but I want this to die because this thing has gift bearer when a card in the sigil perishes. Damn it. Damn it, Carcass. Damn you, Carcass. Let's reroll, maybe find something better. Pain Elemental. I mean, we have that. The Insufficient Pain Elemental. Souls of the Damned painfully burst from his demon gullet. It takes sadistic pleasure in inflicting pain. Okay. Easy. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with a Pain Elemental. Because uh, I might combine them. And then I will have like a 216 insane card. By the way, combining is over there. So I'm definitely not combining them right now. But whatever. Life. Okay, what are we going to attempt to burn out of the deck? Huh. I would say, instead of attempting to burn something out of the deck, I would say let's just flame the Cocodemon once. For the sole fact that it's a YOLO unit. So this way it should not die from anything other than an adder. Or a shark that exists only one fight. Or a grizzly that, as far as I know, does not really exist. So theoretically it's only killable by an adder. And uh, because it joins for free, it should not, shouldn't even be killable by an adder, as uh, the adder should kill something else, and then that will join after the adder kills the other thing. I mean, that's just theory. 
<sighs> okay, I don't have a good start here. But uh, we know for a fact that I'm going to win through the turret. So we're going to go with smoke. Into smoke. Into nothing, pretty much. Into nothing. As the smokes do damage. The kingfisher does nothing. Yeah, okay. You try to hook. We go here. Then I would say we go here. No, I should have played the mecha zombie. No, mistakes were made. By the way, can I win? Nope. I can win next turn, though. I think. We do two damage. We take two damage. No, we cannot win next turn. Actually, I can win next turn. This thing here has two damage. So theoretically, I should be doing four next turn. And four is the number I need. Uh, I got the cultist zombie here. Mm, not really that useful right now. I would say let's take get the win. And then uh, play the turret next turn. So let's go for the win. Let's go here. Nice, this will die. Give us four bones. Lights out. Reset. Now only on the left positions. Very nice. Let's draw a real card, as I don't need anything other than the real cards. I have four bones here, and I could theoretically go with Earthen Zombie. But do I need to do that? I can just play the turret and uh, slowly start winning. Pops. Go fish. Pops. And uh, three damage. I was gonna kill both of my greater smokes. Part of the plan, part of the plan. Okay. I'm not gonna play the Earth Zombie and change an item of mine, because, first of all, do I like the squirrel? I don't need the squirrel. I can get anything. Yeah, let's let's throw the squirrel away. Let's see if we can get anything better. This is this is worse. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I don't really need to do anything, right? I, j I just play this, and uh, do I even have bones for more? I don't have bones for more. It doesn't matter. I guess I can go here. I can also go here. Yep, that's uh, pretty much it. I mean, this is the photo shoot, so <laughs> easy win. Yeah, nice. Is it the photo shoot? We're gonna see. Let's go on. Boop. Where are we time-wise? We are on the 32-minute mark. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Let's see. By the way, uh, okay, Marauder. Is, is it problematic that I'm just once in the video or maybe twice mentioning how big the video is at that point? Because, I don't know, maybe I should stop doing that. The Steadfast Marauder, loyal even after the end. This Argenta warrior, Argenta warrior, okay, uh, denies the reality of their leader's corruption. Yeah, he is in another game. Uh, blood Maker, Ma Marik, blo Blood My Maker, Maker, okay. The invulnerable Blood Maker, an impenetrable shield covers its entire body, dropping only brief violet, violet sloth of powerful attack. This, this, I'm gonna just assume that this Maker is obviously a play on the word of maker and also like a tribe or something like you know is that if they are called i don't know flame but instead of being written like f l a m e it's like f l a e e e m and something like that it's like flame so that's like maker we're the makers anyway this is insane what are you talking about <laughs> i like how i have a re delayed reaction of what's happening 10 costs six are you this is the most insane thing i've ever seen i mean you might see this i obviously see this right like we, we can forget the card the card does not exist this thing exists we pick this up we transfer it onto something else asap let's let's pick this up i mean <laughs> what what was that man that's insane most powerful card i've ever seen whoa um <laughs> wow okay let's uh let's go and experiment if i was correct about the zombie sacrifice and i also see a shop coming up which i really hate See what we got, sigils. Uh, I'm obviously. I was thinking about going for the. Um, let's go for the. We get a random card. I mean, we're experimenting anyway. Ah, look at this. We have more than three sigils. Um, two from the pyramid metal, seven from the zombie, and six from the cultist. Unless she's like, why, why, why is this test three and not ten? <laughs> why is this test three and not fifteen sigils? Pinky, this is new. Six cost two four tries to yule itself gives you four bones but is not able to yule itself. It could not have gotten if a worse sigil. Like if from this game you could choose one sigil which this card should not have, it's waterborne. And the most stupid thing is that waterborne is already trash. Like <laughs> you know, you know, if if you are watching this channel even at a little uh, a little, you know that I hate waterborne, right? You know that I think that waterborne is a really bad sigil and days like these like runs like these 
prove me so right, so correct. I really love it. When I see like a waterborne on something that makes it even worse, I love it. I love it. Anyway, we're obviously not gonna pick that up. It's not even working correctly. Uh, Prowler. I mean, everything's trash. I could get the Hell Knight. Just for the <laughs> fact that... Whatever. I mean, th the only good thing that, that it has... First of all, Prowler is literally a 2-3 that moves around and then evolves into a 3-4. Which is good. But it moves around and it's underwater. So the 4 life doesn't even matter. So it's just a, a 3 moving around underwater. Which is decent. I'm not gonna say it's not decent. But this thing... Uh, first of all, it's a fly blocker, so at least it can handle some things. I'm gonna pick the Hell Knight. And the thing with the Poisonous here is that because this thing has three attack, there is a good chance that it's gonna damage with the Poisonous something that has either one life or two life. And then it will overkill damage the backline for at least one, and then that one damage is gonna kill it instantly. So let's go with the Cultist, because I got my theory. And I'm gonna, before, before I do the Sacrifice, I'm gonna say the following. I assume that they added the Worthy Sacrifice just to indicate that it is a Worthy Sacrifice for this thing. If that's not true, then I think that this is this should not be here. Like, they should remove the Sigil from this thing. Otherwise, I don't know why this exists in this mod. Like, the mod does not use uh, Blood Sacrifices. I was wrong. And, uh, okay, so whatever I said like five minutes ago that how awesome that would be, yeah, it's uh, I'm uh, I'm completely against what just happened. From the mod standpoint, obviously, right? I mean, balance standpoint, it is what it is. I, I just believe that that card should have three blood costs. It should not have the three sacrifices on it. Because you don't sacrifice anything in this game. Maybe the idea is that uh, you play this mod alongside other mods. Therefore, it does actually do something. But um, I would know. <laughs> I think I should play the Earth Zombie here. Block the Moosebug attack in. That should give us two plus four. Is six. Bones. Yeah, let's do that. And then next turn I can play the Mecha Zombie. This also needs 6 energy, so I, I'm in a no rush whatsoever, whatsoever. So let's get rid of the... You're kidding me. This is so bad that you cannot use it if you don't have units on the board. Are you kidding me right now? Uh, play the scroll. Oosh. And it doesn't even activate retroactively, man. Th that item is so bad. It At least it could have activated retroactively. I mean, at least make it do something. I've got a scroll out of it, which is worse. Maybe I should have saved the Earth Zombie. Yeah, that was a mistake. Should have saved the Earth Zombie. Should have played the scroll on the right. And now Mole's coming in. Are you kidding me right now? Well, doesn't matter. The card that we just bought came back with a clutch. With a clutch insta-kill. Not really clutch. Like, literally just... An insta kill. Nothing clutch about it. You insta dead. Uh, you block in that. Ha 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 ha. IT tactics. Mm, I guess nothing. Guess nothing. Uh oh. No, my high two tactics. First of all, are we about to die? We're about to take the damage. We're not about to die. We're pretty safe. Maybe I even draw a zombo. Uh, I still need some bones here. When you click on the bones and they don't even combine, you know you have less than five. Less than six. Less than five, less than six. Less than five, less than six. Pass. By the way, I want to mention something right here because this is very, very, very on point what just happened. Yesterday I did a tier list video, right? By the way, like skip ahead half a minute. I mean, it's gonna be like 30 seconds. So... Yesterday I did the tier list video, and uh, I mean, there were a, a bunch of different opinions, which I obviously respect. I mean, everybody has his own, right? And I also, I'm not always correct. But I have to say the one thing that a lot of people seem to um, be discussing. I mean, some, some people. Uh, my hate on, on the sprint single, sigil and whatever moves around. So, uh, most of the comments that were for the sprinter being good, or being at least decent, or you, uh, you know, saying to me that you can use it if you try, etc., yeah, most of them are like, yeah, if you have an elk, it kills something and it moves around, kills something, moves around, kills something, goes around, do, does its thing, and then blocks and thing, then we went blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Uh, you can see right now here that literally what is happening is that this elk is moving around and I play something and kill it when I want, right? And I didn't even do that. I played this hell knight here and then one elk came from here, moved to the right, died. One another elk came from here, moved to the left, died. So that thing can also happen to you. You can have an elk here. It might actually attack this lane, move to the right, and then 
an ant, uh, an antler, and uh, what is it? an adder might come in, or something that has a bunch of damage might come in and just kill it. You know, it's not just the elk hits something, kills it, and then moves around and avoids hits and does something like that. It also can do in reverse. And you know what that is called? That is called random. Okay, when a card moves on its own, and unless she brings in units randomly in any lane he wants, and then you're sometimes Leshy's card might hit the uh, hit like the air and then your elk might come in and kill it right but sometimes that does not happen <laughs> sometimes actually the opposite happens your elk attacks the air moves around and then go something comes in from Leshy and kills it so it's just random and i don't like random when you know how to play you don't want to fight random things when you know how to play a game you want to be everything as consistent as possible it's pretty there it's zombie um i can't even kill off the scroll Yes. Tick, 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 tick. We won, and that was my like my rant for um that the, the walkers. I just want it's it's not actually rant. I mean, I, the only reason I'm saying this is because I'm I'm explaining the same thing again again. <laughs> uh, let's get a rare for the memes. To be honest, no, because there is a good chance we're not gonna find any shop anyway. Because I'm not sure that there is a guarantee. Okay, first of all, we got combine, and I would say let's combine these as they don't have anything on them. And I also don't want a pack rat. I'm not gonna assume that this mod also has modified the pack rats. If it did, then congratulations, by the way. Uh, let's keep those uh, split. Combine these. I mean, I wouldn't combine others anyway. You should always combine your worst cards if you can. Uh, obviously, the only exception to that is I'm gonna. I want this. The only exceptions to not combining your worst cards is if you try to combine two sigils to make something overpowered. Otherwise, you should always combine your worst cards to get, like, rid of them. And also make, make them a bit better, because right now this is like an 8 cost. 216, so this is a good card now. Blood Martyr needs to go. Mecha Zombie can't play. Ah, oh, this does not look good. We're about to take 3 damage. I mean, we're gonna take 2, not 3, but whatever. And then these things are gonna be flyers. Oh, what's going on? What's coming in, man? Are you crazy? Yo, Lesh, you crazy, man? Blood Merit is not playable. Pain Elemental is not playable. Wait a minute. Can I play this? I could pop this. Pop that. Play this. Do I have four bones? Nope. I have three bones. So I can't even play this. I can play this. Does two damage. Snipes the Raven Egg. I take four. We're dead. It's over here. I'm about to take three damage from the flyers, by the way. Three damage, six damage from the flyers, and one from the wolf cup seven, and one from the alpha eight. I think it's hook time. I think it's hook time. Uh, draw a real card. Hook something, like hook the alpha. Play the mecha zombie. If push comes to shove over here, the mecha zombie can kill the raven egg, or the mecha zombie can... First of all, this has to attack, right? The mecha zombie can kill this and this. I can hook this. No, I think I should hook the alpha. By the way, big mistake. I hit it. But hook the alpha. Mecha zombie will have three attack. Mecha zombie can kill one raven egg. Then uh, I need to play something on its right. Is that a possibility? I could play the squirrel too. Play it on the right. We'll hit this for once. No, I, I, I need to play something here to be honest. So if I hook this, this is dead. This will do one damage in the line. And this will do two damage to us. And this will die. So can I take two damage? Yes, I can to take two damage. So uh, let's just draw a squirrel. Right here. Hook this. Play this here. Pass. Kill this. Should I kill? Yeah, I kill this. We get the bones out of that. Yeah, we take two damage in the air. Doesn't really matter. I mean, it doesn't matter, but you understand what I mean. Uh, this is not playable. This is playable. It's a 316 fly blocker. So we can play it here. It will block it forever. Yeah, and we will be safe. We will take one in the air. Actually, this is also going to attack in the air. We're going to take two, three in the air. We're dead if we take three in the air. Uh, I need to draw a real card. I have eight bones on the dot. So if the real card cuts like four bones, I could play it. The squirrel's not going to help us at all. Actually, I can play the squirrel here to do one damage. This thing only does two. If it did three, maybe we can do something. So let's say the squirrel does one and we take two damage from this. And one damage from this, three damage. So we do one, we take three, we're dead. Uh... I mean, I'm forced to draw a real card anyway. Okay, this is good. Because this can actually kill the raven. And I do have bones to play it. And then we take three in the air. And we die. Squirrel on the left. We die. This on the left. Does three damage. And blocks that thing in. 
Yeah, but then we take four in the air. So if we do three damage and we take four. Actually, we survive that. If we do three damage and take four, we do actually survive. So... Um... I, I, I guess we play the Hell Knight? I, I'm... I, it feels like I'm missing something, but... There is nothing to be missed at. Just, just to the... Oh, we do four! Yes, I did miss something. Oh, wait a minute. That means the other card will also do three. No, I'm missing a bunch of things. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter that I missed something because uh, now we are better off. Uh, I need to draw a real card. There is no choice in the matter because squirrels won't do anything and I might as well play the squirrel. I mean, let's go. Rabbit pelt. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. The elusive rabbit pelt. Uh, should have played the pen element on the right, by the way. I would have won. No, I would not have won. This would do. These would do three damage at that point. This, this. Was, I think I was on a forced route anyway. Uh, I can't really do anything. I mean, this is going to die, but we will take four and we will lose two. So um, yeah, nothing to be done here. We're gonna lose the flame. We lose the flame. It is what it is. Let's make sure I'm just not miscalculating anything. Rabbit feels useless. Obviously, uh, this does not help us. These are not playable because four bones are not enough. Mm, this kills here. This does nothing. Yeah, nothing to do. Nothing to be done. It is what it is. Good thing we have the flames. You know, that, that's that's why I have all these upgrades, right? Because the mods are not balanced. A lot of mods are not balanced. Sometimes I also make mistakes, obviously, as I said. I did not I started with the draft mod, although I might have not have should have. I don't understand what's the concept of this, by the way. I skipped the text. Mm, I guess the, the the reason this exists is because it's a cheap unit that gives you four bones, pretty much. And I also want to transfer this as fast as possible over to, I guess this, <laughs> I guess this, because this is going to try to always block in something, still keep the triple attack and it will never get attacked. And even if the triple attack goes to the left or to the right, I still don't care because at some point it will change positions anyway. So this is really good on this thing. Now here, pinky. Buys you time, gives you half the bones back, also does two damage. It's a 2-4, I mean, it's it's a 2-4, it's decent. It's like a mega, mega mole. Hmm, mega mole. Oh, wait a minute. If I give Pinky this thing, we got a literally un unblockable card, right? I'm not understanding this wrong. I'm, I'm definitely understanding this correctly. Yeah, it's literally... Let's go. Let's go. But Sift, when it dies, it gives you bones. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's literally blocking everything in. Well, I'm forced to combine the zombies here. Did not think about it. Which is pretty bad because those zombies are definitely cards that I would have had split. Definitely cards that I would have wanted to have split. Because I want to have more ways to gain bone bones. So having them combined literally, literally makes your deck worse. Combining good cards. Uh, mecha zombies. Uh, party wine. Uh, that's not good. Uh, panic, panic, panic. We're gonna not go. This is not gonna go well. Good thing we have the snow fear though. First of all, I can play this thing. Which this thing can kill an egg on its own. So we go here. We go here. We go here. We go pass. We go kill. Easy enough. This is out. This is out. This is out. Nice. And we got enough bones to play the two red. Let's start drawing rear cards in case I draw something insane. Let's not play the pinky right now. Let's play the two red. Let's... Let's hide the turret in the corner, as it's the only thing that can attack from there. And let's uh, sm start smacaroning. I don't think we're dead, right? No, this is just gonna do one damage, who cares? I'm slowly gonna start drawing wheel cards. But the martyr is here. Snipe that, that, so it's off. Yeah, you do three to us. Yep. Demogorgon's here. I wanted to give it to the Demogorgon. Mm. I don't know. Now I think I can play whatever I want, right? So, let's just, just play this. Us. Snipe this. Should have should have not sniped it. It's the same thing. I think we won anyway. Rabbit pelt. Ah, yes. That's something I forgot to use. But I think the math on the previous fight was still off, right? Even if I hammered the rabbit pelt the previous fight. Because I had rabbit pelt in hand. Maybe... You know what? what? I think there was a combo previous fight. Which, if I used the hammer like three or four times. May, maybe something like that could have happened. Anyway, we'll go here and there here. To create my super mega ultra card. Cyber Mancubus. The Dream for Cyber Mancubus. Cladding the demon in metal has done little to quell its putrescence. Putris Quite the contrary. In fact, it makes it worse. 
Kaminsky, yeah, thousandth time. Mm -hmm. By the way, poisonous that kills whatever it attacks sideways. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we roll. I mean, ten cost four. Imagine, imagine picking up Kaminsky. Hell zombie. Yeah, we got another zombie picking that. The pitiful hell zombie. Its body has cast into blood swamps after being deemed unworthy by Calibis. Calibas. Hell Knight. Precipice Hell Knight, demons maintain a rigid heresy, burst entire incapacity and violence, and the knights stand above common rabble. Okay. Shield Soldier. Wow, good old Shield Soldier. Do you remember this guy? Feel old yet? Uh, I like this. I like this Hell Zombie. First of all, I like all the zombies right now. So the zombies, the ones we have seen, is Mecha having the two damage and snipe ability. What's this? Uh, the Earth that has the double gives you bones each turn. First of all, all the zombies have bones, brittle, bones, brittle, a fly blocker, and uh, gives you four bones. All of them have these fours. And then this has plus a bone. This has per round. This has plus snipes and does two damage and then dies. This has plus infinite sacrifices. And the one we threw away had plus three blood sacrifices. Yeah, that's it pretty much. I just wanted to do a <laughs> accounting. I want to say what I have seen. This is definitely happening. <laughs> and uh, the question is... Pinky or Cockademon? Cockademon will block things that come in and make them do zero damage. Pinky will block in everything. I'm gonna go with Pinky. I I'm gonna do the, the, um, the perfect combo. <laughs> By the way, anybody that creates a mod, you have to realize that Repulsive is the most broken ability ever. And um, whenever somebody sees Repulsive, they will in instantly transfer it on something else. <laughs> Literally. So uh, even if you create a card that has 50,000 damage, uh, 50,000 cost to play, it does not matter. If it has Repulsive, I'm going to just transfer it some on something else. Let's see if we can beat the um, pirate. Maybe the pirate's the only thing that can counter us here. Although, to be honest, from the moment I play, from the moment I win, beat the first phase, we are winning. Hell Zombie. Yeah, it's the Infant Sacrifice one. Uh, I want to get rid of this, and I also want to block these in. So, I don't want to lose the Hell Zombie, though. Oh, it will die on its own. Okay, cancel that. Why does this thing die on its <laughs> Whatever. Let's go here. Into here into here. I like the fact that I don't even care about the squirrels, like, at all. Oh, squirrels? I don't care. By the way, this pain elemental is gonna destroy my whole hand. Every everything's gonna die because of that pain elemental. Uh-oh. This has brittle. The back line's coming in. Oh, I'm I'm in panic mode right now. Uh, this fight has killed us, by the way, before. The turret can th do three damage. The pain elemental... Can I play both? No. I have to draw real cards. Cockademon. Nice, the Cockademon is going to join for free. Very nice. And is, is it going to die? No. That's why I flamed it once on defense. Uh, should I pay the plan Pain Elemental? Or the turret? I think the Pain Elemental is the, the play. Yeah, I think the Pain Elemental is the play. I, I can't... Because... Why? Because the turret is easier to play. Uh, by, you know what? Because the turret needs three energy. <laughs> I'm so stupid sometimes. It's dead. Revenant. Okay, give us four bones. Cocker Demons here, very nice. Now uh, this is gonna do zero and the Pain Elemental is gonna do one. I also have three bones to play the turret. Now I just set everything up to get Pinky, exactly. I get Pinky and now I just continue drawing. I have four bones here for Pinky anyway. Yeah, Pinky's gonna join the next round, although I'm, I'm like 99% sure he's not gonna survive what's coming in, but whatever. Because it has this stupid mechanic. That makes you always take whatever life you have between monsters on the field and your hand. So now we're about to take like 20 damage. For example, I have 21 and this has for life, 25 life, right? So uh, about eight cannons of balls are gonna hit bomb now. And I'm gonna like, this is for sure dead. And this is 99% dead. And Pinky is like almost dead because this has 16 life. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15? I don't even know how many those were. And this is dead for sure. Yeah, it took... Oh, it took three hits! Yes! Let's go, let's go. Leshy, it's over for you, man. You can't win anymore. Da -da 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 Whoop. Done. We won. It's over. Literally, this is the god itself. 
Um, let's go here. Yeah, cannon, whatever. Here. Shoot the kill, pass. I think we even won from damage. Man, disappointed. <laughs> Uh, disappointed. I, I wanted to showcase how broken Pinky is. I, I, I might try to do it the next turn. I mean, next fight. We're gonna definitely get the sigils that tells me to draw whatever I want. Ooh, looks awesome. Cyber Demon. What are you doing with these? The Tyrannical Cyber Demon. This behemoth's metal arm rapidly projects explosive cinders of hellfire through some arcane mechanism. The Marauder? Okay. The Doom Hunter 9-3. The unwavering doom hunter excavated from the glaciers of north and reconstructed by violent fusion metal abhorrent. Uh, I guess the cyber demon. I'm not gonna play this. The boon, the doom hunter, maybe playable. N nothing is playable from these, like none of them. Maybe the marauder is playable. Actually, the marauder is playable because it costs three energy. This also costs three energy, but this is a six five, and this is just a measly three three. But maybe if it dies, it becomes something insane. Let's pick this up in case it becomes something insane. Just in case. Okay, now we move. Da, 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 da. Now this is still the old version because we're not playing case mod. Now I can get rid of the one pelt I have. Or I can transfer... These two... Onto this thing. And then it can try to yule itself. And um, frozen on our way, maybe something insane pops up. I mean, if this is a 9-3, so this, I, I really, 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 really hope this pops up something insane. Otherwise, I can transfer the Gorgon on the Pain Elemental, because obviously this is insane. But I would say Coca Demon on the Demon Hunter, on the Doom Hunter, I don't think we have any way, any possible way of losing. So let's just try to make it so that I can play that unit for free, because we don't know what it does. I, I believe that I cannot lose right now, okay? Obviously, playing the Pain Elemental will make us literally not be able to lose, but I'm just gonna do whatever I want. We experiment here anyway, and uh, we always try to go the meme path or the experiment path, depending on how you see it and uh, how you call it. 56 minutes, man. We're running very slow today. I guess because I'm reading everything and also explaining things and also saying stuff and stuff, etc, etc, etc. I mean, makes sense too, right? The more convoluted the mod is, the more um, slow we're gonna go. Let's go with the ring, as I do have the ring. Because I have the clock. Two cards return. No, two cards per turn. Okay, nope, nope. Um, I have like a few rares. I also have one pelt. I think I have one or two rares. Definitely more than... Uh, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. And there wasn't a pelt too, so we were lucky. Let's go withdraw whatever you want. Yep. And let's go for a win. I could have gone with, started with eight bones, but that would have been stupid. <clears throat> I mean, if I want eight bones, I can just draw my skeletons, uh, the, the zombies, <laughs> skeletons. Spooky, spooky skeletons, they're crawling up your spine. I don't even know the lyrics, I'm saying what is fine. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's go, lights out, give me a greater smoke, lights out number dose, give me a greater smoke number dio. Let's go. I'm mixing and matching languages here. By the way, I only know Greek, English, and German. Anything else I say is just the words I have randomly heard <clears throat> in videos or on the internet or wherever. Uh, amalgam. I mean, we just play our first turn normally, like greater smoke into greater smoke. This is the classic sift opening. Which means we block in the, mo the, um, the amalgam. Now he's gonna about to ding us. The man's god tries to join. Now he will draw whatever he want. I guess Doom Hunter because it's literally going to join right this round, and uh, also the super mega zombie. I could play the rabbit pelt like here with the memes. Get rid of it. That's like extremely stupid. If I play Pinky next turn. We win. Let's go with the Super Earth Zombie. It's also gonna give us an item. Do bones. Should I play it now? I don't think I should play it now. Uh, pass. Let's say pass. Let's not have a million bones on our deck. Uh, not bones. Uh, gold on our side. Boop, it joins for free. Yep, now this thing is going to, as I said, instantly try to YOLO itself. And now we take two damage. It's okay, we're not gonna lose. Famous last words, obviously, but we're not gonna lose. 
And let's also play this zombie. Okay, how much energy do I have? First of all, if I play Pinky, we win. Like, there is no doubt in my mind. Huh. I don't think Demon Hunter can die. First of all, let's play Pinky now, and we will see what will happen. Uh, on the left? I guess I can play the zombie. No, oh, pass. Uh, snipe. Here, so it damages the backline for one, so that this 2-2-2 two -two -two will hit it. And I also want the gold nugget to go away. Now this, now the pinky will try to start blocking everything. Look at this. This First of all, this tries to yield itself. And now this, oh, nope, you don't attack. It's an opossum. <laughs> what? Yo, modder, is that a mistake? I I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that it's literally a mistake. <laughs> it cannot be anything else. It cannot possibly be anything else. You know what, Leshy here, take a squirrel that has uh, spikes. Bup, bup, bup. Yeah, and now what? Why did he not hook the squirrel? Why did he not hook the squirrel? I don't understand. By the way, there is a chance we're gonna lose here but from time. By time? By time? From time? I don't even know. Uh, we got the rock out of it. What else am I using a lot? I guess let's use the snipe. The snip. Snipe, snipe, snipe. Why I attack the, the zombie there, I don't know. I, I think we're running out of time, by the way. Stump. Mm, yeah, that's not gonna cut it, man. That is not gonna cut it. You know what? I hate the opossum. Let's, uh, let's just play our new... Let's play our... I don't know. Hell zombie number two. Which gives us more bones. This, this gives us more bones. Pass. Oop. For damage and we win. We did not win. I have lied. I was gonna play something insane and tell us that he, I can... Oh, no, you're not attacking. <laughs> I was gonna draw something insane. Oh, we're about to run out of deck. That is really not good. How many bones do I have? Okay, I have enough. Let's play the super blocker. I would say. Mm. And let's also set up a win for the insta win next turn. You're out. But see if that card was saving you. You're in. Well, what is this? You're out. <laughs> and uh, Knight, right? Yeah, Knight. Knight will give us the free win. And you know why? Well, in case you don't know, <laughs> because you're used to Casey's mod, this moon is not immortal to anything. <laughs> this moon is toast. Yeah, photoshoot? I know. But this moon is dead. I know, Leshy. I know. But you can't do anything. Then she's like, uh, what? Now, is Leshy gonna get a thing? Leshy, I can't draw any cards. Can I play? Yes, we won. Brup, easy win. Yep, we got it. I mean, I, I... As I said, I looked into the console and we were supposed to have some imps and some zombies in the deck in the very beginning. So I guess the zombie is like a zero cost or one energy cost something something. Uh, gives you bones. Because uh, I read the description of the mod and um, it said that you have to do bone sacrifice, etc. I don't want your rock. So if it's meat, it's not a rock. Just say what I see. Say what I see. It looks like a rock to me. Okay, and I live in a village, I should know. Well, shoot. Maybe it's a boulder. That's why people said it's not a rock. I guess it's from English. Like, no, Sift, it's not a rock, it's a boulder. But instead of saying boulder, they say meat because it's a meat in reality. I know it's a meat in reality. This is Doom Eternal. I think it's Doom Eternal, right? I'm just gonna say Doom. Because I don't know if Doom Eternal... I think Eternal is like a... Whatever, it does not matter. Doom is OP. <laughs> Let's go. This mod was very powerful, like extremely powerful. I mean, it was balanced in itself because it only had high cost units, right? There were some four cost units. There were some five cost units. There were some units that were actually cheap. Yes, but uh, what? 
Oh, this is the starting deck. Okay, we found the bug. We, we've got it. Uh, so I will need now to modify my save file, but we found it. So this isn't the starting hand. At least I can showcase it. So the starting hand was a hell cell zombie. Okay, an earth zombie, a hell knight, and an imp. So yeah, I know, Leshy. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know, Leshy. I know. Th this might not look the same uh, tomorrow. Um, yeah, as I said. L zombie wow we would have been so much more powerful if we had the starting i mean i would burn this out of the deck but earth zombie and hell zombie and hell <laughs> this is like a really good start and i was saying that uh, this mod is balanced within itself right because the hell zombie and the earth zombie is insane if you go for a bone build but the thing is that half the, the half this thing half the mod was having like eight costs and ten costs and they also added energy on the side so in case you were too powerful with bone creation you still have the energy cost on the side by the way i cannot click it because the moment i tried to show the energy cost yeah like you, you understand what i mean like this red number so the energy cost on the side was also a nice addition although you know six energy is too much right because if something costs six energy i'm like first my first thought is if it doesn't have good sigils, I'm not picking up. I cannot play a six energy card. I want to win on turn three, turn four, maybe turn one, turn two, okay. But turn three, turn four, I want to have my bombs. I want to have my good units that I can play really fast. So I didn't like the six energy cost, but the rest are definitely good. By the way, before the run, I forgot to pick up the... The... Not bones. The head bones. <laughs> the, the teeth. Let's see this new run, how it looks. That's that's the mo the only important thing is how the new run looks. So we see. Let's go through all our runs. Do you remember these? 50% more map. <laughs> remember all these. What is this? Cheating? What? Cheat box. I don't even remember what is what. Infinite corpses. Logic. Logic of is OP. Logic is OP. Okay. My naming. I see my naming has not changed. Whoop. Luis. Casey. Regan. Dead by Daylight? Remora's mod v2, Dead by Daylight? This is this is yesterday. Remora's mod two, version 2, this is like the day before. Glitch. This is the, I think this is like the last mod I played. Uh, Reginald? Casey? Luis? Kaminsky? It's over, it's not here. No, maybe I passed through it, I don't know. I, I, I just look at these stats and they are all zero zeros, so... I, I don't even know. I guess I passed through it. Uh, I'm just gonna go one more time. Anyway, let's uh, let's open here the things and let's let's begin the outro while I'm blasting through these. So as I said, uh, no, I, I didn't say it. <laughs> if you like the video, drop a like, helps out the channel a lot, and we'll also make it so that you know the algorithm is gonna show you more of my runs. And um, yeah, that's it pretty much. I like the mod. It was a bit overpowered. Some cards were not. Some were definitely. Uh, but uh, I still believe that the mod was balanced within itself, right? Uh, the cards might have been OP. S some were definitely not balanced, right? The, 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 the triple strike uh, repulsive and triple strike with targets, and there were so many cards with so many powerful sigils. Those were not balanced. Like, in this mod, if you pick up a sacrifice altar, you're winning already. So this mod is definitely, you need to chase down the art altars. But uh, overall, if, if you could not transfer sigils, then I think the, the mod was balanced within itself, as I said, like, for the fourth time now, because um, of the high cost of bones. And you can also feel it, right? In the beginning, when I, like, in the first act, maybe even in the second part of this run, you saw that in some rounds I was playing slowly, I was trying to draw the skeleton, the zombies, trying to build up the bones, and then after I built up the bones, I was able to, you know, play the card slowly. So uh, the, the, the mod works, in my opinion. The only thing I think is a bit broken is the insanely powerful cards. Now, the way you could do... Uh, the, the way you could make it so that people do not transfer off those things is somehow... I don't know how, but somehow making it so that instead of having, for example, a repulsive and triple strike, uh, the unit could have repulsive and as a patch, like as if it got combined the triple strike, right? So if you make a card already be like as if it's combined with something else, then uh, you could not you cannot give it more sigils, right? You cannot sacrifice a unit that has already sacrifice on it, and you can also not add another sacrifice on it. If you have the unit twice, then you combine it on um, the mushroom event, correct? But even if even if that happens, you still cannot transfer more. For, for example, imagine if it had, as I said, if it if the, if the rare card had repulsive. Like, if it had Repulsive here and Multi-Strike up here, 
right? If it was already pre-patched. Even if you find the rare again, it will still have repulsive here and triple strike here. So you can still not add sigils to it and you can still not take the sigils away from it. So even if you go to a mushroom guy, you would just combine the two things with the same sigils and nothing would change. But, 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 I'm not a modder and I have not seen the code of the game. I have no idea what's happening in the modding community, like coding wise, right? So I don't know if that is actually possible to implement, right? I don't know if it's possible to implement and do not transfer the sigils around. I'm like 99% sure that when some mod creates a mod that makes it so that you cannot transfer sigils around, a lot of other mods are going to use that sigil. <laughs> like if a sigil appears that says this unit cannot get sacrificed or get sacrificed onto or get more units added onto it. Actually, you don't even need that part. You just need a sigil that says that this card cannot get sacrificed itself on the altar, right? Because you might want to buff your already powerful card. That's not that broken. Like getting a card with triple strike on its own is not that broken because you can balance it with the costs, right? The problem is when you take the multi-strike away from it and put on something else, that, that's when you create broken cards. So if you create a sigil that says this card cannot get transferred onto something else, but it can still accept transfers onto it, on, onto it then I think a bunch of mods are going to use that. Like a bunch of mods just need that because as, I, as you saw, the card was balanced. It was like a 10 cost, 6 energy cost to play, 10 bone, 6 energy. But who cares? Get the Sigils out of it and you're winning. Anyway, that was my big analysis on the whole balance aspect of having multiple mods, once again, uh, multiple Sigils. We hit the one hour mark plus. I mean, yeah, it is what it is, guys. In modded, in modded inscription, most of the time, it takes me a lot of... Uh, it, it takes a bit longer to go through them and read everything. And um, yeah, I hope you don't mind. If you do, maybe comment down below about it. I don't know what to say. I mean, that's if that that's me. I uh, you know what? Instead of commenting if you don't like about it, then I, I would prefer that you would comment if if you know that it's a thing, right? Who is here? Who 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 was here from the beginning? Who knows that this channel has bigger videos only? That's my question for the day. Anyway, that's going to be it for the day. Once again, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.